So the final jumps race of the week for me is a flat race, the Elite Racing National Hunt Flat Race. Top one, Canto 54, Jamie Hopkins, Easter Phillipstown, Darren Howes, Flying Swish, Alex Cherry, Kinghorn Palace, Jim Murray, Nickelback, Jamie Hopkins, River Scythers, Darren Thompson, Small Fry, Leon Van Rensburg, Theseus, Molly at Surfer, Baying Princess, Darren Thompson, Clockwork, Carla Regante, Frosty Flame, Thunder Spark, it's all in the hips, Joshua Sutherland, Miss Peak, Alex Cherry, Montana, Paul Rhodes, Robin Clark, Graham Clutterbuck, Samoan Eyes, Molly at Surfer, Tina Turner, Derek Hinton, and Trade Wars, Graham Clutterbuck. So two entries in this one then, and they're already off and racing, and Kinghorn Palace just about poking its head in front early on, but there's no flights of hurdles or fences to take in this of course it's a national flat race so they sorted themselves out and easter phillips down just about the leader there's no great pace on at this stage nothing seems all that keen to go on and it looks like kinghorn palace the jim murray horse is going to take on that particular role and it's quickly now gone three or four clear of Easter Phillips Town is just about second it's all in the hips his next in Theseus Nickelback is after that one and Frosty Flame the second Molliette server horse Samoan Eyes is at the back of the field I hope Molliette server Holger has recovered from the shock of Germany losing a World Cup game that doesn't happen all that often does it and Kinghorn Palace in the lead from Theseus in second and we're going to have a view from that rather strange crowd who are all looking at the wall and not the horses as they go by maybe it's some sort of protest or something I don't know but they're all facing in totally the wrong direction that's all we should tell them they're missing out on what's happening so it's King Horn Palace in the lead then from Theseus in second then Easter Phillips down and Clockwork it's all in the hips and Nickelback with River Silas and Frosty Flame next then Robin Clark so there's only got 10 furlongs left to race then now and Kinghorn Palace is getting it all his own way out in the, out in the front but they're beginning to close now with clockwork up the centre of the track and just behind the leader River Scythers as we lose sight temporarily behind the trees there and Kinghorn Palace continues to show the way and while we're losing them in the trees Theseus has come through to take second so Kinghorn Palace then from Theseus and Miss Peak is also making some good ground as well, only two being caught wide, looks like Montana might be the one that's widest of all, Tina Turner's also a bit wide on the track and so too is Baying Princess, the back three at this stage are Canto 54 Samoan Eyes and Flying Swish but it's Kinghorn Palace in the lead and they're coming down towards the six mark so we're getting towards the business end of the race now then and the grey small fry has made a significant move into second and the other grey that's chasing him is Robin Clark but it's Kinghorn Palace who continues to lead from small fry in second Theseus is third, Robin Clark is fourth then Nickelback and it's all in the hips after that one then Frosty Flame and Easter Phillips Town just being pushed along on the inside then comes River Silas and Clockwork Montana trying to get closer but giving away a lot of ground Canto 54 still at the back with Samoan Eyes and Kinghorn Palace and at the end in the week for Jim Murray the way he started the week with another winner but Small Fry's got something to say about that moves in the second Robin Clark is third here comes it's all in the hips in fourth then Theseus is next and Frosty Flame is after that one then Bane Princess and Trade Wars and River Silas and plenty haven't got into this at all yet and it's two and a half furlongs to go and it's still Kinghorn Palace in the lead by two to Small Fry in second Robin Clark in third it's all in the hips is four and then Theseus is five Frosty Flame is next and then Bane Princess after that difficult to see anything else getting into this now and it's King Horn Palace into the final furlong and a half and this could be a pretty easy win stolen from the front by King Horn Palace nobody wanted to take him on early on and nobody's got near him towards the end inside the final furlong it's a top and tail week for Jim Murray he won virtually everything in the first week, first day and he's winning quite a few at the end of the week as well and King Horn Palace takes it for Jim Murray small fry second Robin Clark third he's all hits four Frosty Flame next and then Bayern Princess and the field will trail back to Nickelback and Canto 54 so King Horn Palace then for Jim Murray is the winner. Small Fry, Leon Van Rensburg second. Robin Clark for Ram Clutterbuck third. It's all in the hips. Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Frosty Flame was fifth for, thund thund for Thunderspark.